it's the info. It's the man with the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info. It's the man with the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info. It's the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info. We got the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info man. You can call him information. Info man. Kicking knowledge all over this nation. Win, lose, or draw. You can bring your hate team. But if you want to win, please don't bring your debate team. We talking Japanese shogun. Aztecs, old mix, and African dogun. everybody this is information man welcome to my youtube channel i want to first of all thank everybody that's been supporting me that's been uh in my corner uh, i'm doing this video right now to remind everyone that i do have a second channel and i'm gonna be pushing my content in terms of my live streams google hangouts uh that i when i have guests to come on and we talk about a variety of issues I'm going to do all my Google Hangout stream live streams on my second channel, which is called Information Man Speaks. There'll be a description on this video, and there should be a breakdown of the name of my channel right across your screen right now. I want to thank everybody once again that's been very supportive. I'll be doing most of my interviews when I bring guests on that I interview one to one, and you've seen some of my interviews with some of the great folks that are on YouTube. Uh, that's going to all be done on the second channel, Information Man Speaks. I want everybody to go over there, uh, subscribe to that channel, most definitely. Hit the bell for notification, and don't forget to make sure that you subscribe along with that. So that every time I do a live stream with a Google Hangout over there, or an interview with someone, you can definitely catch that content. Now, on my first channel... Uh, I don't have any strikes against me in terms of the fact that I can upload video on my first channel, as you know, and I can go ahead and I can live stream on my first channel solo. So I can do solo stuff, but I can't do Google Hangouts on the other channel for, for a variety of reasons that have to do with Google, and I'm already in the process of appealing the situation. Um, um, I'm still baffled by the fact that I did a program in which we were uh, basically praising the importance of black men, uh, black fathers in the household raising children. And out of that situation, Google says I misused their product. In, in my opinion, I think there's some, uh, there's a conspiracy here. I don't think that they want black men talking about things that are relevant to empowering our community, empowering ourselves. And I don't think they're, they, that they're, they want a narrative in this world or even on YouTube, on these on these platforms, a narrative that highlights the positive uh, aspects of black men. Um, I know on YouTube, we've got our, di our different opinions. We have people who have uh, debates. And sometimes you gotta have debates because through debates, you gotta, you learn. But um, personally, I, I, personally, I wanna keep the high ground, the high road, stay positive. Uh, what I want to continue doing is bringing you content that you can learn from, content that is educational, empowering, because I, I like to get into cultural uh, issues, political issues, news issues, um, think anything that is educational to the history of black people. I want to continue to open up minds and push that type of content. And as well, I'm learning too, folks. Uh, when I have panel discussions with people, when I interact with people, I'm always in the process of continuing to learn. I'm 49 years old, but you always want to continue to learn. I had a recent birthday. And when you really assess yourself and how long you've been on the earth, you really get to the point where you say, you know, I'm not really with the arguing and the bullshit sometimes. Now, you know, I've had my moments on, on, uh, on live streams and, and on panels with people where I've expressed myself emotionally. I've gone off on people too. But, you know, as you get older, you realize it's it's not necessary because if you're arguing with people, 
and you're getting into these arguments with folks, are you really constructively leading? Is it leading to the betterment of our people? Is it leading to the betterment of what we're trying to do? And how is it impacting the outer community? My model, and this is just how I feel about it, whatever, I'm t whatever I learn that I put on YouTube, anything that empowers black people, I myself should not only just talk about it on YouTube because I know through YouTube videos, and I remember when I was on uh, one of Nyla's panels and we had Angry Man on there and Angry Man and I were talking and the Angry Man stated that your videos that you produce can have a big impact on people out there. So even, even though I, I subscribe to like not only doing the videos but getting out there on the streets and working with the youth, working with people, doing whatever you can in your individual community to make things better in this society, I would say go right ahead and, and definitely do that if you can. But what Angry Man made me realize too, in, in, in being on the platform with Nyla, is that um, you'll be surprised these videos that we produce on YouTube and Black YouTube, how they can have a positive impact on the lives of young people. It could make the difference in someone's life. So with that said, I think uh, the brother is correct. Many brothers on YouTube that are doing content, uh, it's content that can definitely uh, benefit the community content that can definitely open up one's mind one's eyes so i want to say shout out to angry man uh shout out to gab talk media shout out my man uh low cash shout out to uh nyla says she's had me on her panels a few times shout out to oj uh o'shea uh duke jackson who's had me on his panels on the sunday rumble i really appreciate that shout out to my man lions then wherever you are out there brother shout out to brother karima who i've interviewed on my program uh b miles 84 the conscious channel shout out to him he's been uh, shout out to underrated darkness out there that's a good brother out there that you should check out um and there's so, so many people that i want to shout out to things that are running through my mind um great interview shout out to eric erica williams motivation business motivation and real estate sisters dynamic e dean he's into business um, brother LMP, Life Machine Power, Brother Reg, there's a lot of different people out there uh, that I want to give uh, a little, a little, a little love to because these folks have been supportive of me as well. Um, brother Art, love Brother Art, Brother uh, uh, Nagone, that's my frat brother 06 to him, Nagone, who's out there. Uh, brother Kevin Samuels, he has a great channel with the Image. You know, uh, 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 being the best you can be as a black man, CIA, confidence, intelligence, and being assertive, and getting your image game on, get, and, and, and getting outside the box of, of restraint as a black man. Travel, see the world, uh, do different things. Don't just leave work every day and just go home. Go have a meal somewhere. He, he talks about these sort of things. Very important. I want to give a shout out to Prophet of the thought series that brothers had me on his program quite a bit and he's shown me a lot of love want to definitely thank him there's so many fantastic people on youtube on, on black youtube a lot of times we we get caught up in the negative sometimes on black youtube but there are a lot of positives out there with black folks in black youtube as well people that are actually doing some substantial uh things shout out to our brother bgs and what he does on his channel, what he does to try to educate black men, uh, brother Cerulean Gray. These, you know, these are brothers that are that, that, that are doing some things out here, trying to empower us. And I must admit, you can make a lot of impact on people's lives through these videos, through capturing the minds of people. I always say to open up one's mind. So I did. So this this video that I'm doing right now is simply to give some respect to people that have supported me, people that I've had word exchanges with on a positive level that I've learned from and um, to remind everybody to definitely go over to my sec channel information man speaks. I'll continue to upload videos on this channel, pre-produced videos. I will continue to do live streams on this channel when I'm just solo by myself. And I will continue to do premiere videos. And I've got other videos that are coming down the pipeline that I'm working on producing and that hopefully you will get something from. Uh, when I started this channel, I did not start this channel because I simply wanted to uh, be involved, you know, just do foolishness. 
I started the channel because uh, I wanted to have a voice, I wanted to express myself, I didn't like what I was seeing in mainstream media, and I wanted to give uh, uh, my opinion from a black perspective, from a brother who's, you know, who's lived a little bit of life, who's had some experiences to share. And to also exchange, and to also engage and exchange information with other black folks. Uh, one, which is one of the reasons why when I started my platform or my channel, my whole goal was to reach out to other black folks within YouTube and try to connect, make connections with people within the YouTube family. And that's very important to me. As black people, I think we need to uh, find what we share more in common than what we have in discommon, okay? I think we need to definitely uh, work together, uh, find commonalities, uh, through our disagreements and we should be able to walk away as black men as black women and learn something from this learn something from our differences learn something from what we share uh, in terms of our commonalities um, and we say this a lot on YouTube as black people we've got no friends uh, we got enemies nobody's our friends people that are coming over here to this country or that are, that are coming over here immigrants what have you these are not our friends. These are people that are coming over here to have a better life, to benefit from American society, and they're gonna compete with us. And even though we know that it was our ancestors who built this place, who put the foundation down of this society, we, uh, our ancestors marched, they, they bled to get certain rights on the books that we benefit today, even though they still have us down as three-fifth human beings in this country, which I find, uh, so it's crazy, but at the same time, not so because we know that we as black people are not in control of this society and we know those that have oppressed us historically. So they're going to always make society in their likeness. But it's about what can we do as a people to recognize our history, our heritage, our culture. And then with that, take that and make something of it. Uh, there's a brother, uh, I got to give a shout out to brother Q Butter. I've seen him a few times on Nyla Says' program. I've seen Q Butter on uh, brother O'Shea Jackson's program. I got to give him a shout out because this is a brother who's doing it in the community. He's got a, he's got, he's got a school. This is a brother who's putting his words to action physically. So I got to give him a lot of respect working with kids. Um, it's a, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of dedication. And not everybody wants to do this work, you know? You know, there's some that'll call it being a cleanup man, but not everybody wants to do this work. And if we as men, as black men, do not take the lead in rebuilding the community, we may not be able to fix the black community or some of our black communities in the state that they are in now. But if you want to rebuild, it's going to take your efforts and your involvement in the rebuilding of our communities, okay? Because if we're going to talk about black men are supposed to be the leaders, we're supposed to lead our family, lead our, 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 our women, we have to lead by example. Uh, I think the military has that kind of philosophy. You lead by damn example, okay? And we just, we have to do that. We have to lead by example. We have to be men. We have to stand on our square and get out there into the community and do what is necessary. Now, let me just say this right now. Um, I have to be, I have to admit that it is frustrating at times on YouTube when you see the back and forth between people, you see the beefing and it's a shame that beefing will get you a lot of views. The beefing will get you subscribers. And in some cases, when you do in something that is educational for your people, you may not get as many views. I did, now the video I did on uh, Paolo and Jovita, which is uh, two children that live in the UK. They're very intelligent. They have a book club uh, uh, channel and I was asking everybody to subscribe to their channel. I wanted to see those kids. It wasn't about me, but I, I really wanted to see those kids have their channel like boosted with uh, subscribership. I mean, bam, I wanted it to go way up. They had 53 subscribers on their channel at one point in time before I did the interview with them. They're at 77, so I wanna thank those folks out there who have subscribed to their channel that might've learned about them from them from the interview that I did with them, but I wanna see their subscribership go up, go way up, and this is the reason why. They're in the UK, they're not in the United States, but still, black people are through the diaspora of the world, and I support black people. 
where we are in the world, especially if they're positive. Now, when I interviewed these kids, they're intelligent. Um, they speak different languages. The mother, she's black, but she has a Portuguese heritage. She speaks different languages. And you'll find that a lot of black folks who live throughout the diaspora outside of America, particularly, they tend to speak more than one language. We're Americans, we tend to be very limited in our language, although we do have people who do speak different languages that live here. But in other countries, it's pretty common for people to speak different types of languages. Uh, but I, I just thought that, that, that the, the, the children are very intelligent. They go to school. The, the, the children are on, a, are on a route to doing successful things. And these two children, the daughter and the brother, they could possibly become scientists someday. They could possibly become the future of changing the state of this world, of, our, of, of us as people. So you just never know. The father was on there and I interviewed him. He talked about something that was very important, which is why I, I, I was very taken back that my that Google kicked me off my platform and then they ended up shutting down the stream. But at the same time, the video was still up and running. So it, it was very bizarre. And you know, there could be people out there that are haters who want to flag stuff, want to get you in trouble. And um, Super, Super Sly 75, and I want to shout out to that brother too. He said to me, you know what, Info, he was, he was doing a live stream and he said, Info, you know, maybe if you're not doing something right, then you ain't going to have these problems. But when you're doing stuff right <laughs> and when you're making an impact, you're going to have these problems. So Super Slide 75, shout out to him. Shout out to Man of Tomorrow as well. Uh, there's many brothers out there. Oh, Moses Jenkins. I want to give him a shout out. And I'm going to give a shout out and much respect to J Brother George Makem. Yes, Brother George Makem. Love you, brother. We still got to do the exclusive interview. I've got your um, beautiful <laughs> uh, thumbnail already taken care of and, and, and put together. Okay. Now, and I'm, I'm kind of random. I'm kind of random here, folks, but I, I got a method to my madness. I got to give a shout out to the man who's inspired me to have a style that is an interview style on my show. And that is man, my man, Brother Dynas. Brother Dynas, search for Uhuru. Search for Uhuru. Uhuru. Wait a for, search for Uhuru. Wait a I got to say that right. Search Wait a for Uhuru. That Wait a brother... Wait a little, little, I had a little bit of a <laughs> slip, of, a slip of the mouth right there, folks. But that brother is fantastic. He travels to Africa, different places, different countries in the continent. He doesn't just stay at the little fancy hotels. He gets his feet out there in the villages. He stays with the people, eats with the people, engages with the people, wants to be with the people. So I have to give him a lot of respect. And last time I went to his channel uh, this past week, uh, he sent me a message saying that we got to do something. So me and him got to get together and do another stream together, whether it's me on his channel, whatever. I'm looking forward to that. So I love that brother dearly. He's been very inspiring to me. Uh, brother uh, Dinah. So make sure y'all check him out. Uh, let me give a little shout out to brother uh, Hollips Ellipso. Hollips. That's my brother too of the B-A-I-O. I want to give a shout out to the B-A-I-O. Love you brothers. Um, um, I'm keeping a very busy schedule, but I, I still get the emails when you have the conferences, the, the conferences that are online. So I will very much soon start joining some of those conferences. Only difference is I'm in the West Coast, you're in the East Coast. So sometimes when I get those emails, it's, I'm getting off work, I'm driving home, but I'm going to try to join in in those conferences for the BAIO, okay? land infrastructure and nationhood baby so i like what i like what they're about and uh brother uh Hollips is a very positive brother so i must give him a shout out now since these things are coming through my head i'm going to keep giving these shout outs as they come through my mind brother Yusef, who is the owner and operator of black junction tv I must give him a shout out. Love that brother. Uh, he's doing uh, best. He's doing good things over there. Keep in mind, brother Yusef, and if you have a chance, check out the exclusive interview that I did with him on my channel, on the first channel. Um, he told us it's going to. He wants to. He wants to do live streaming on Black Junction TV, but he wants to get it right. You got to have enough bandwidth. You got to have enough infrastructure to be able to handle the uh, you know number of people that are going to be live streaming. And it costs money. 
And the brother's not taking in, he's not taking in, as far as I know, corporate dollars. And you got to keep in mind, once you start taking in a lot of corporate and corporation type money, now it'll be just like YouTube where they can dictate what you can talk about and what they're going to block. He says he wants to keep it blacked, black owned, black operated. So we got to be patient with him. And I'm going to keep saying this. If we can make YouTube what it is today, we can damn sure make Black Junction TV uh, better and better and better and better. So black folks, support Brother Youssef. We're always talking about supporting black businesses. We're always talking about what we need to do for our people. If we had this or if we had that, well, this brother's got a platform. I know there's another a platform called Avengers TV, if I'm not mistaken. That's another place where a lot of black men in the magazine are congregating their videos to. Um, let me give a shout out to, uh, since it's coming through my head, uh, Lisa Calabero. Let me give a shout out to that sister. She's doing things the right. She's uh, You gotta check out her channel because she does, she follows what's going on in terms of things that are happening that impact our environment and impact black people. Uh, some of the opioid situations in this country that are happening. Sister does great research, um, gets into a lot of good topics and she has a great channel. Uh, she also, for those of you that are um, Hebrew Israelites or people who feel that, you know, black people, we're the original people, we're the true Jewish people, uh, that black people were here before anyone else, uh, check her out because uh, Lisa uh, talks about these type of topics. Let me get a shout out to uh, Audio Discourse, that brother out there, that brother is fantastic. Let me give a shout out to Sister Brenda Johnson, uh, Obsidian of Obsidian Radio. Uh, brother, uh, you know, he speaks his mind. He, boom, says it like it is. We're going to shout out to that brother as well. Um, but Lisa, she does great work. So, folks, definitely um, check out what she's about, how she carries herself, and the information that she puts out is definitely important content to our people. One of the things that I've done lately is I've gotten rid of my cable television package. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the most radical thing I've done so far because, you know, I like watching my sports. I like watch. So it was really difficult for me to give it up, but I gave it up and I'm going to probably just have to look at my sports either online through YouTube, go to sports bars. I don't know. I have to figure something out uh, because YouTube has become my television. And and I spend and, I, and what I did when I got rid of the, the cable package, I kept my Internet and upgraded my Internet to the highest grade. So I look at Netflix and um, and all that sort of stuff as a way. Cause, because, you know, when I got into the YouTube and, and I started engaging with people on YouTube, I realized, damn, I'm spending more time doing this and I'm learning more from the process of YouTube and engaging with my people. Because not everything is negative with black YouTube. There's some fantastic people out here on black YouTube that are doing some great things. So I've realized I'm not watching television yet, so I have to get rid of it, okay? Uh, let me, since it's in my mind right now, let me give a shout out to um, Gigi. Let me give a shout out to Sister Classic Ruby. I think she's out there in Toronto, Canada uh, as well. I want to thank her. She's been very supportive of the channel. Nicole Ali, I haven't seen you around lately, sister, but I got love for you. And I know you, you're a great sister. Uh, you're a scientist. So I want to say to everybody, check out Nicole Ali and her channel and what she's doing and what she's putting down out there because the sister is uh, fantastic. Um, so definitely support. Don't sleep on what she's doing. Um, man, uh, we got AM1. I'm going to be getting out to Oakland, which is not that far from me. I can get in my car, drive up from where I'm at. And uh, I used to live in Oakland. used to live in San Francisco as well. And throughout the Bay Area. The Bay Area, when you live in the Bay Area, you can claim different places because hey, when it comes to the Bay Area, my stumping ground was the Fillmore, Hunters Point, the Trail Hill, uh, you know, then people talk about Vallejo. When you're from the Bay Area, you kind of encompass it all because you got family, you got friends that live in all these distances. So you kind of like give respect to it all. San Jose, Berkeley, or we used to call it Zerkley back in the day. You kind of like it's all encompassing in some in some cases. That's why the Bay Area, we're a lot different from Southern Cal. We're a lot different from other places in the country because we sort of bridge it all together. And that's why we call it the Bay Area, baby. So, and, and the Warriors, got to give them shots out too. My Warriors. 
I've been following the Warriors since 76 when I was a kid, so I'm not one of these bandwagoners who jumped onto the Warriors just because they're winning. I go back to World Be Free, J. Barry Curl. I go back to when you could damn near get the Warriors tickets at gas stations. They would give them out to you. Um, let me give a shout out to my man who's in Oakland, uh, AM1. You know, all looks, all likes, you know, you know, all street looks. I got to get that brother some some peace. And I am going to get my black behind up there to Oakland with my camera and hang out and spend a day with that, guy, that brother, hanging out with him so that I can make a motion picture feature for YouTube. Wow, because I'm going to go and I'm going to interview that brother live. Uh, put that on footage and put that out there. Talk to that brother. Connect with him. This is the brother and one who talks about the fact that one of the problems that we have as black people in America is that we don't control our own media. That we need to control our own media sources. We need to uh, be in control of mass media because our image is the most precious thing that we have. Black men, black women, black community. And we should not allow other people to define our image for us we should be the ones defining our image for ourselves and i think i was on a panel one time and i think it was on profit of the thought series and shout out to that brother again and he talked about um what is one of the problems that we as black men have or black people and that is that we don't control our own image what you see on television what the reality shows um rappers, entertainers, all these different folks, it seems like people around the world shape their, their identity of how they see black people through mass media, tap TV, movies, and all this kind of foolishness. And what makes YouTube very powerful when used correctly and when we as black people can get away from the bickering and the fighting and really start to educate our people is when we can use these platforms to empower each other because we know, and to tell the stories that no one else will tell. When you look at CNN, MSNBC, um, uh, Fox News, all of them, they're not telling the story about us black people. They're not telling our story correctly. They don't have the ability to tell our stories. Okay, let me fix this here. They don't have the ability to tell our stories the way we can. Uh, and you don't have most of the black people that you see coming on these news networks talking supposedly in our behalf, they don't even tell our story correct because they're constrained by the fact that they're on television and they want to come back. They don't want to lose their position on t so, they're, so they're compromised already. Okay? But on YouTube as black people, we can tell our stories correct and we can express and say what we want because we're not being held to the standard of, oh, well, if I say this, uh, they ain't gonna let me back on this ABC or this NBC channel or this platform. Right now we know YouTube can block videos. YouTube will penalize you on certain stuff, uh, monetize certain things and that, that nature. When you say to certain things, certain buzzwords. Okay, we understand that. But for the most part, uh, we have to diversify ourselves as black people on these social media. So not only do you utilize um, YouTube, but utilize podcasting. Utilize creating yourself a website. I used to have a website, and I'm going to bring that website back. I'm going to create that website so that that's another platform. I also do podcasting, so that's another way that I can get my message out to people. I was doing that actually before I was YouTube. Because I've been on YouTube for a long time. But I wasn't, I wasn't on YouTube. I wasn't creating content. But now I create content. And so when you create content, I think this is something people have to understand. People that are on YouTube, brothers and sisters who follow us, who support us, which is beautiful. I don't think a lot of people who are not content creators really understand a lot of what goes into doing this. Getting your lighting right. Getting your cameras right. Uh, thinking about what you're going to say. But I, and a lot of times, I don't script what I'm going to say. What I'm saying to you right now is coming straight from the heart, straight how I feel. Um, I'm just being straightforward. A lot of times, we we have to keep that in mind that there's a lot that goes behind the scenes to put on these types of contents 
We have to do our research in a lot of cases. We have to read, study. You got to put thumbnails together. It takes it takes some work and it takes time out of your own personal life. You know, those of us who have personal lives, you know, it can really impact uh, family life as well. Especially if you're married, you have kids, and you know the demand that your your family will have on you. Okay, and 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 and, and, get, and that's that's the beauty of when you have family that that you have family, you have people that you can lean on when things are are, are going tough for you in your life. And I've had my ups and downs in my life, but family is something that you always have to lean on. And the YouTube family is something that we all should be able to lean on. So if someone loses their channel, something happens, we should be supportive. Uh, when I had the incident a couple of weekends ago, or was it a weekend ago with the, with the Google situation, and I did a, um, I did a, a, a live stream about it. I mean, I had a lot of people that came out to support you know, and, and, and express and listen to what I had to say about what I was not happy about. And I appreciate the support uh, that we as black YouTubers would definitely show, uh, like for example, the young people that I interview, it didn't, it got views, but it didn't get the kind of views that I think it should have gotten. Versus if we're talking about something controversial, there's arguments amongst us in our community, you'll get a lot of people that will watch that. And I understand, you know, we like to see, everyone wants to see the train wreck. You want to look out your car and say, hey, what happened? There's an accident over there, right? We know that. But let's keep in mind that when we get on these platforms and we talk about what we want for our people, we want the best for our people, then let's support the best when the best is being presented to you, whether it be our children, our men, our women, our seniors, our community, whatever is the best in our community, let's support that and give it the same type of support that we will give anything when it comes to train wreck stuff. I'm just saying this in general. I'm not trying to hate on anybody or, you know, anything. It's not any hate. It's just I want us to elevate what we put as a priority uh, when it comes to content. And that content should be something that's relevant to building our communities. Let me also say to everyone, and I look in, I go into my, 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 uh, my creative studios and I look at who has subscribed to me and there are some people that have subscribed to me a week ago, a day ago, a month ago, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whoever you are, um, those of you that have, I want to thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you might have seen me on someone else's channel, thank you again for coming over and subscribing. I'm going to just keep taking this and taking this on a ride with you. Um, we're gonna ride this together. We're gonna to see where it, how it develops, how it plays itself out on the platform. And like I said again, once again, I want everybody to go over to my my uh, second channel, Information Man Speaks, and I want you to subscribe to that channel. Uh, I want you to support that channel because I will do all my Google Hangouts on that channel, and I'll do my interviews with people on that channel. While this channel will own, this first channel will be used to put pre-produced videos like this on the platform and then occasionally I will come on solo um, on the channel utilizing um, the live stream that I can utilize solo okay on that channel another thing uh, to those of you out there within black YouTube that are content creators who have Google Hangouts I've had the uh, blessing of being able to be invited on some of the folks channels to talk on there and I want to say to you um, that because of my Google situation, uh, make sure if you want to invite me to be on your panel, go ahead and uh, email me at this particular email, which will be the information man speaks at gmail.com. I'll put it right across the screen as you can see it now at information man speaks at gmail.com. If you send it that to that one, it's a hell of a lot easier for me to get on your panels because I'm going to be using the second panel, which allows me to get on panels. When Google suspended me from using Google Hangout on my first channel, it also makes it difficult for me to get on people's channel by using the first email that's connected to my first channel, which is the Cold Wave 06 uh, email. But the, new, the second channel is under informationmanseeks at gmail.com. So that will be the email to utilize whenever you want uh, myself to be a part of your panels. And for those of you that have had me on your panels, 
and you know who you are. I appreciate being a part of your panel. Even if I've been on panels where sometimes we have difference of opinions, you know, I might have raised my voice, you know, I might have said things or what have you, and everyone's gonna have a different opinion of that. Let me give a shout out to ALR Movement. And I'm gonna give a shout out, look, look, I'm gonna give this shout out to ADL. And I know I have my differences with this brother. He's a conservative. He has a big platform where he, you know, he spouses out the conservative talking points. And I, and then every time I go on O'Shea's channel, me and him, we do let each other. We go at each other. And I went at his butt uh, just uh, this past week as we were talking about um, black people. Are we disrespectful to the police? Which I find ludicrous because. If anything, the police have historically been disrespectful to black people and the police have never been historically in the black community. As I said on O'Shea's panel, they have never been a part of the black community to serve and protect us. The police have always been occupiers of the black community. They've always been there historically to harass us. There are black men, Los Angeles, California, throughout this country, who are not members of gangs, who are not thugs, who are not doing anything wrong, minding our own business. And you can be stopped by police if the police are crooked and they will assume that you are a gang member. They will pull you over. It has happened historically. It was happening in Los Angeles. And so when I was on that platform, I was I was not advocating that those that do criminal activity should, get a, uh, should be off the hook. I was simply saying, look, I'm not talking about uh, black men who are committing legitimate crimes. I'm talking about black men who are not committing crimes, who get harassed by the police and mistreated and get labeled and stereotyped. And that's a fact. And there's many, many uh, black men who have experienced that, although ABL said that he's never experienced it. And you know what? It's great that he's never experienced it because he's never, ex that's great because we don't know black men should have to experience that, but that is the reality for some black men. So when I was on there with him, I had a difference of opinion with him. We got into a little squabble back and forth. But for the most part, I've got no ill malice towards the brother. He's got a different political point of view that I don't believe in. Uh, he sees things from a different perspective than I do. I mean, he's 32 years old. I'm 49 years old. I think, uh, let me see. Let's do the, I think I've lived a little bit more life than he has. You know, he can read about the 80s and 70s, late 70s, and read about the the uh, early 80s and, eight, and, and, and early 90s. He can read about it, but I lived it as a conscious adult, as a conscious person. As, you know, so, so sometimes you have to consider people's age. Uh, they talk a lot of stuff, but do they really have the experience to know what they're talking about? Uh, with age and experience and learning from other people, you gain some wisdom. And um, sometimes um, I know for sure when I was 32 years old, the thing, the way I think at 49 is not how I, I thought when I was 32. So, but shout out to ABL, no hard feelings. We just sometimes I don't agree with things that he says, and that's just hey, I got it right, you know. And I know he likes to say, oh yeah, being emotional, but that's just the typical thing that people will say um, because they really can't argue down the truth of what you're saying. So, oh, you're emotional. So, but ABL, shout out to him. Um, there's many different brothers that I've come across um, while being on YouTube and connecting with people that have been uh, really good, you know, really good, really good uh, brothers out there for the most part. And I think, um, let me just say to the sisters out there that are listening to this uh, video, black men, we love you. And the reason why, in my opinion, we cry out and say the things that we do, whether right or wrong, is because at the end of the day, we want to be, we want the love and validation of our women. We want our women to respect us. We want our women to see us as the men that we really are, which is men that are capable, men that are doing something, movers and shakers. We, we want the love. And I think sometimes some of us don't feel that we're getting the love from our sisters. So sometimes when you feel that way, you can kind of lash out. And keep in mind, we both, women, black women and black men, both live in a society in which we are marginalized, we're underestimated, we're undervalued, and we're stereotyped. You know, black men, we go out into the world, 
and we come home and we just want to come home to a peaceful household with a woman that brings us comfort because we deal with so much crap out there in that society that when we come home we don't want to deal with crap at home so i think the more the, the less we argue with each other and the more we start listening to each other black men and black women the more we'll find some commonalities and some common ground and we can listen to each other, understand what each other are going through, and then we can gain better respect for each other. And I think through the family structure is the only way uh, that the black community can be rebuilt. want to call. So let's just uh, keep that in mind that we as a people, we, we just try to work together. Let's try to uh, do the best we can. Uh, Real Aaron Collins out there, what's up to you, brother? Let me say once again, everybody, uh, that have been supporting my platform, uh, I want to say again, thank you uh, for the support. Thank you for coming to my chat room, sending the comments. Those of you that have super chatted, let me give, once again, I'm giving a shout out to Moses Jenkins. That brother is great. Those of you that have super chatted me, Brother Brown, William Brown, um, Shirley. There's just so many people out there. I'm sorry if I can't name every, everybody. Brother Dubian, who's been very supportive of me from day one. I want to thank him. I see that brother around. Hebrew King, I see you. Sandra, um, uh, Sonia Sees that comes through there. Wiseman who comes through. Um, uh, Robin the Girl Wonder, thank you uh, for coming through. Lions Den again. Um, there's many different people that I see coming through the uh, through my chat through my chat room. Those of you that have supported me, those of you that have super chatted me, thank you. I'm not putting any pressure on anybody to super chat me, but guess what? If you super chat me, I thank you for that because it shows that you appreciate my work when you do that. And those who, who don't or who don't, you still appreciate my work because you come to my channel, you take the time out of your busy schedule to listen to what I have to say, what rhetoric I have to say. You take the time to enjoy the live streams that I put on with people, my guests that I bring on. And I really uh, appreciate uh, people who come over. Let me give a shout out to my other man, Black in Japan. Love you too, brother. Um, it's, it's great having you on my platform. It's great talking to you, brother, from time to time, because you're a very wise, you're a very wise brother. Uh, so I want to say thank you, uh, brother, from, from definitely bottom of my heart, uh, from co coming on board with me. And brother Yusef of Black Junction TV, I must give him a shout out again. Uh, brother Muhammad Bay, who was one of my first people that I interviewed. Wherever you are, brother, thank you. I know you were promoting the idea of traveling to Africa traveling to the motherland and engaging in the motherland and uh, 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 connecting with the motherland. Now, I know this is a debate. I know that there are people out there who say, uh, I don't want to go back to Africa. Uh, I know Minister Jap has made uh, some videos about this. He's been on O'Shea's channel talking about how when, he, when you do the research, you know a lot of those structures where they help black people you had to have had other Africans involvement in the slave trade. Well, of course you did. And I'm not trying to tell anybody who doesn't want to go to Africa or even visit, you got to go. I'm simply saying, when I talk that, I'm speaking to the people who do want to go to Africa. And does that mean that you're going to go there and move? No, because let's be honest, not every black person in America is prepared to move to another country, let alone Africa, and also live in another country, let alone Africa. Let's just be honest about that, okay? Some of us are not prepared because we like the comfort, creature comforts of living in America. Our sewage, our television, we like the creature comforts. It's just like uh, on the, uh, the movie Superfly, the original Superfly movie, where priests wanted to get out of the game, the drug game, the, you know, the whole hustling game. And the brother that he was talking to was saying, he was like, Negro, are you crazy? You want to leave all this luxury? You want to leave the color TV, the cars, the Cadillacs? You got to be out your mind, Negro. Okay? And so that's one of the mentality that some of us, like people in America, have. Not all, some of us, where we love the creature comforts of America. 
but I'm speaking to people who are willing and able to travel and maybe they want to have a home over there, live here in America as well, or maybe not that. Maybe you just want to go and you want to invest and make money. If that's the case, no problem. Those of you who don't agree with that, who are not going to do that, then stay in your lane and people who want to go over to the continent and connect over there, let them do what they do. If it's a bad place to go, then they'll find out. Because last time I checked, white people are all over it. Chinese are all over it. Everybody who doesn't even look like us is over there, but us. And we seem to be the only ones that are being critical when we want to go. And that's part of our mindset as black men, as black people. We got to break out of things that limit us and limit our horizons and limit our ability to explore the world. We gotta go travel, we gotta got my passport, we gotta go travel, we gotta go see the world. We gotta break out of the box and see other places and explore. As you get older, you don't be afraid to try different things. Hell, I'm thinking about taking a hot air, a hot air balloon ride. Never been on a hot air balloon, but I'm thinking about doing it. You know, when you get older, you get to a point where you don't give a damn no more. You just say, fuck it, I'm gonna be adventurous. And so I'm thinking about, man, get my butt up there in a hot air balloon and shh, goodbye. <laughs> Enjoy a trip up there. You know, I, I'm thinking about doing all kind of stuff like that. So travel, hiking, do whatever you can. Exercise. Like I said, black men, um, make sure you look at my video where I talk about the different types of food that will boost your hormones, different types of food that will benefit your health. We got to be on top of our health game as well, black folks. We got to really be on top of our diet, our exercise, our mind, mind, body, and spirit, it's all one. Not separate, it's all one. You have to feed it all. Your mind, your body, spirit, it all gets fed. So, you know, I just wanna leave you all with, uh, with these few words. This, this video was really about thanking everybody that's been, uh, been supporting me. It was basically about reminding you to go over to my second channel and subscribe to the Information Man Speaks. Information Man Speaks on my second channel and you will see a description in this video of that second channel where you can just click into it okay and go over there subscribe hit the bell for notification and also do me a favor everybody that's listening to make sure you periodically come back to my channel and everybody that you follow on YouTube do this go to their their main page and make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that the bell of notification is hit because I think that and I've been hearing this, that YouTube, another way that they attack us, as black YouTubers, is that when you're sending a message out that's really resonating with people, they can incur subscribers. So the next thing you know, when you're going live, people don't know that you're live because they're not even getting your notifications. So everybody who follows different people, check the notifications on everybody that you that you follow. I think it's... Uh, it's very important Wait a minute. Wait a minute. to check these Wait notifications Wait a minute. for people that you follow, people that you enjoy listening to, people that, that you think are inspiring uh, to things that you believe in. I think it's very important, folks. So I'm going to end this video uh, right now. I want to thank everybody for supporting me, taking the time to listen to my rhetoric right now. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more content. I'm really going to crank up the content on this channel, my first channel, because um, I think it's something I need to do. I'm also got some ideas for some other YouTube channels that I want to, I want to create a YouTube channel where I, um, I'm looking at uh, food. I'm going out to restaurants, I'm going out to fast food, I'm going out to different places and giving me, giving you my, my opinion on the food. Eating the food, filming the food, the whole nine yards. I'm thinking about experimenting with some other stuff. I think on YouTube, it's important that we expand ourselves. Uh, we got black YouTube here, but all of us have different talents. And whatever your other talents are, you should explore those talents, whatever they are, on YouTube if you can, or any platform that you can use. Uh, because we are multi-talented people, we are multifaceted people. Never forget that. And once again, I'm gonna leave you again with the positive word that we as black men and women have to work together the way we be, rebuild our community is through unity, through coming together, through putting, doing the work in our individual communities, which can mean anything. It could be putting your hands on the ground and physically doing the work, donating to organizations that are doing something. Whatever you can do, we can all do something. 
no matter how small or how little, okay? And as black men and women, we need to we need to start listening to each other. And even if what we have to say about each other is not what we want to hear, sometimes it's necessary to hear that which we don't want to hear to understand where we need to go to fix our problems. Black men say things that black women don't want to hear sometimes, but it has to be said. That black women say things that maybe we don't want to hear sometimes, but it has to be said so that we can both hear each other, whether good or negative, and go and figure out where we go from there to fix these problems. Now, if we don't want to fix these problems, then obviously you're enjoying talking about the problems over and over again. We got to fix problems. We have to, because as black men, as men, our jobs is about fixing problems, problem solving. That's what we were built for in some cases. Men are, men are giver, women are receivers, but we have to work in harmony and connection with each other. Okay? The African owner. We got to get back to that kind of harmony, that balance. We're having the problems that we have because we're out of balance, folks. We got to get back into balance. So I thank you for taking the time, everybody, for listening to my rant, uh, taking the time to listen to what I had to say. And I uh, really appreciate that. Once again, this is the Information Man. Thank you for coming over to my channel. And like I said, again, my second channel will be where I will do most of my Google Hangout streams and my interviews of guests that I bring on board. And I will do all of my pre-produced videos on my first channel, this channel that you're on right now. And I will do occasionally live streams on this first channel where it's just me solo talking to you. And I have other, um, other stuff that I'm experimenting with behind the scenes right now to make the picture quality or the content better, which I hope to present to the family uh, very soon in the live streams that I'll be doing down the line. So thank you wherever you are in the world, day, night, evening. Thank you uh, for supporting. Anyone that I might have forgotten to give a shout out to because I'm just doing this right off my head, folks. You see, I have no paper in my hand. I'm not reading from a prepared script. I'm saying things just straight off, out, 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 right off the cuff. Anyone that I might have forgotten to say a shout out to, definitely uh, forgive me. Um, you're in my, in, you're in my, you're in my thoughts. I did not uh, forget about you. Just well, I just didn't remember possibly, but I'm not saying that I don't have respect for you. So anybody that I didn't give a shout out to personally, uh, I give you all my apologies if I didn't say your name on this video and you have been supporting me. There's so many people that have supported me, so it's hard to remember all the names, boom, 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 right down the line. Maybe next time I'll do something like that where I just put everybody's name on paper and just read it off. But uh, I want to thank you for, um, once again, everybody that's been in the chat room supporting me, everyone who has looked at my videos, everyone who has shared my videos. And I want to say continue doing that. Continue sharing the videos. Uh, continue, continue, continue. Thank you. We're getting ready to go into a new year. I just made 49 years old, so I'm one year, be, uh, one year behind being 50 years old. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm going to continue to stay positive on the YouTube, even when there's things that are negative. And I'm going to be honest with you. There are times when I have felt like not doing YouTube anymore, where I decide just to shut down my channel and not do any more content. There's times when I, I feel that way uh, because it, it's it's a... Uh, it's kind of it, it can be kind of wearing it's, it's kind of wearing on me personally to see that you will have that sometimes our people will hate on one another and we'll even do things to tear each other's channels down and and, and that to me is where I, 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 I have a problem I'm talking about when people cross the line and they get too personal you know it's one thing to have your criticism of people to uh, have a difference of opinion, yeah, but when you get personal, and it really goes, it goes across the line. And, I, and I'm, just, I'm not just saying this to everybody out there as if my draws ain't dirty because I'm saying this to myself, you know, because I've been on streams, I've been on panels before where I might have said some personal things to people because you get into the heat of the argument with brothers, but I'm looking at, I'm looking at myself as well and saying it's something that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? So this is not me just saying, oh, you guys got the problem. But I, Info Man ain't got no. Info Man has done his share of arguing and bickering with people on these live streams and, and panels. And it's something that I don't really, really want to do. It's not my character. 
And so I don't want the drum. I just want to be able to produce these videos, put out good work that can educate people, like I said, collaborate with people, connect with other brothers and sisters on YouTube that can lead to some positive connections, some positive information that can have an impact on someone's life out there. You know, with that, like I said, when I had the conversation with Angry Man, he said, your videos can have an impact on somebody's life. You never know when you go out there into the world and someone comes up to you and say, hey man, you did a video. And I'm gonna tell you that video changed my life. That video made me look at things in a different way. Okay, so I know I'm talking a lot of positive stuff on here. I hope I am. This video may or may not get a lot of views because of that, because I'm not talking gritty on here. I'm not on here talking about how I'm in a beef with somebody. I'm beefing with somebody. Yeah, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. See, that kind of stuff, that's not what I'm about, but it can happen. And I'm not trying to say because I'm not really about that, that that makes me better than anybody on YouTube. I'm not saying that. So don't, I don't want anybody to think that I'm thinking that I'm better than people. I'm just saying that's something that I don't really want to do per se. That's not why I got on YouTube. Um, I wanted to be creative. I wanted to be informative and connect with my people on a way that you can't do that in, in what we call mainstream media. But I'm saying this and I'm saying this now, we as black people, we are the new media. We are the real black media, not the nonsense that you see on television. No, we are. That is the truth. Um, in the only, if you believe in white supremacy, oh, let me give a shout out because I had a great live stream and interview with Brother Maurice Muhammad. Maurice Muhammad, thank you, brother, for coming on board with me and letting me interview you. I love what you're about. You're very powerful. You're very, uh, you, brother's deep. We got to do it again. But let me give a shout out to Brother Maurice Muhammad. And let me not forget to give a shout out to Phil of the Avai Show because he graciously allowed me to come on his platform. He interviewed me. Peace to that, brother. Thank you, brother, for, uh, you know, giving me the time to be able to come on your platform. Let me give a shout out to SideNetta, SideNetta TV and the whole um, black conscious movement that's going on out there in the New York, Harlem area. Um, there's so many other people. Oh, I can't forget my man Logic. Food, clothing, music, and shelter. My man Logic. He's the man, him and uh, Straight Drop. Those brothers are dynamic. Love what they're doing. Um, they, uh, Those brothers, what they do with the green screen inspire me to do what I'm doing right now. So I really appreciate uh, Brother Logic of Food, Clothing, and Shelter. Let me shout him out now. Let me give him a shout out because he's a great, a great brother, great inspirational brother. Uh, like what he's doing. Oh, I got to give a shout out to Marlo's corner great boxing content world breaker that's my man world breaker tv that brother breaking tv world boxing that brother i gotta give him a shout out as well marlo there's so many people that, I, that i'm trying to remember right now that's popping in my head um that i've had on the platform or i've talked to i've done some kind of collaboration with or connection with i wanted to thank all these brothers that are out there all of you that are out there, love you. Thank you for being a supporter of Information Man Show. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the second channel, Information Man Speaks. It's in the description of this video. Thank you, and I will be back with more content. Info. It's the man with the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info. It's the man with the info. Whatever you want to know, come join the man with the info show. It's the info, it's the info Whatever you wanna know, come join the man with the info show It's the info, we got the info Whatever you wanna know, come join the man with the info show It's the info man, you can call him information Info man, kicking knowledge all over this nation Win, lose, or draw, you can bring your hate team But if you wanna win, please don't bring your debate team We talking Japanese shogun Aztecs, old mix, and African dough guns.